Hi, this is Rick again, and in this section, uh, we're going to be learn how to create phones. Basically, add an extension, assign an extension to a user, and also set up the Bria. And I'll also show you guys how to do this in bulk if you need to add multiple extensions all in one time. So um, let's get started with this. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're looking at the user. So um, we see that I already created a test agent, which is agent user ID six thousand. So let's create a phone extension for him. So let's go to admin and then we're going to go to phones and we're going to add a new phone so since it's user 6000 and we want to correlate the user number with the phone extension we're going to, it's going to be 6000 and then we're going to add dial plan number 6000 the voicemail box will be 6000 uh, the outbound caller ID now whatever you set here will only work if they dial straight through the SIP clients or the BRIA, IBM or whatever if they dial the numbers from there this is the number that will appear if not if they dial go through the system, then the campaign is the one that's going to control the one caller ID. Make sure that the server IP is pointed to the correct direction. Uh, agent screen login has to be the same as the phone extension. If you have an agent screen login that's different for some reason, you use the names or anything else, you got to make sure that whatever they're logging into that they're using here. Also, the password, the login password, has to match. In our case, we said the user 6000 with the word password as password. The registration password. Now, this one is actually the one that goes into uh, the SIP client. So, you want to make sure it's, it's pretty good so nobody can hijack it. Uh, make sure that this is active and it's set to active also. Uh, let's give it a name uh, test extension. Uh, make sure the client protocol is SIP and also make sure that the local time is set to whatever the server set. should be defaulted to that. Alright, so we have created a phone extension here. Now there's a lot of different settings that you can mess with depending on what codex and everything else. If say if you just wanted to restrict it to the GSM or G729, um, you can add them here just by putting G729 and then just like this. And then if you needed to add GSM or any other ones, you just add them separate with the com with the with the half colon here. Um, if you leave this blank then it'll accept any codex. Um, all these other settings you basically don't worry about until later later videos. So now once we have submitted this we have created one. So let's see if we can get it to register. So I have a SIP phone here. It's Bria. And let me go ahead and go ahead and change this one to let me say it'll be extension 6000 at now, depending on Bria or if it's an iBeam, they are different. Okay, and the setups, like for example, the Bria's will actually do it with like an email address, technically, right? 6000 at would be bc.demo.etofree.net. Um, so let's do that. BC dial demo.etofree.net. Let's make sure that the password is there. Password 1234. Display name can be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't matter, but the authorization name has got to be the same as the extension. Make sure that it registers with the domain and receive calls, and we hit OK. And let's see if it registers. Apply, OK. Bada. Now we have extension 6000 registered in the SIP phone. Now, um, let's go ahead and look on how to add these in bulk. Now it's very funny that where it's actually located, but if you come here to reports and you want to add these in bulk, most of the BC Dell new, newer systems, especially the ones that you will get after this video series, are going to have this already. So it's a little link right here that's called the admin utilities. Now you have what's called the bulk phone insert page, and this is really simple. Um, Basically, in one line, you can create uh, the server. So, if it was BC Dial Demo, BC Dial Demo, BC Dial Demo dot net. Okay, that's the dot net, and then you would just add the extensions. Let's say you want a six thousand one, six thousand two. 6003. However many extensions you put in here on this one line per extension, it'll create them automatically all pointing to the server, right? Now, you can actually set the registration password for all of them. 
And this works also if the login passwords are, are pretty standard. If not, then you might want to leave this blank and add them in, you know, individually. Uh, make sure that the plant protocol is set and the number is set. And once you hit submit, it will create all these extensions under this. So if you have to do more than one extension, this is a great way to do it. Alright, now we learn how to create and set up a phone.